Such a beautiful game can't get by without some way of us showing it off. Let's talk about Cyberpunk's photo mode, and something you may have missed that makes it a bigger deal than it may seem. Also, I'll be giving the game away during my Twitch stream, so more details to come on that. Thank you for coming to my Tomato Talk. As games become more and more beautiful, photo mode in a game becomes more of a joy to use. Subsequently, marketing for games through these photo modes becomes better. Seriously, look at some of the pictures captured by regular players like you and me. The ability for companies to eventually start working together with the community to promote how incredible the graphics in their games are is skyrocketing every year. And the community is exploding across platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Flickr. Now, I just want to say I've heard rumors that this photo mode was going to be delayed after the launch of the game, but with a trailer like this, I'm guessing it'll be there for the launch, so that makes me really happy. So let's talk about the obvious bits first. We get the ability to change the lighting settings, poses, depth of field, and stickers, similar to in photo modes like Horizon Zero Dawn or Spider-Man. There are some cheeky references here and there too, like, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. These are fairly standard additions though, and there are nothing really to write home about, in my opinion. You can also completely remove your character from the scene as well, allowing people to admire the true star of the game, Night City. Framing options, camera presets, these are also nice additions to have for a photo mode, but what really gets me here is something I've only really gotten to play with in one other game's photo mode, and it's actually something I tweeted about not long ago that seems to be slowly kind of being included in games. Real-time photo mode. See, for those of you who knew me, you know I like to take in-game cinematics to give that extra oomph past just a picture, but that's not easy to do when everything is frozen. In this game, it looks like the atmosphere of the city, at the very least, is not frozen, which means moving signs, animating lights, and who knows what else in the background. This could be great for making ambiance pieces for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's something I'm really looking forward to experimenting with and using to improve my own content. Get ready for all those videos coming here on the YouTube channel, and if you want to see all the best shots that the virtual photographers will have to offer in Cyberpunk 2077, I actually just started a new account on Twitter, where I'll be posting and sharing shots from the community, Photo Mode 2077. So make sure to hop over there and get in touch. And join our Discord server if you're a fan of the game. There will be tons of content shared and discussed there as well. And don't forget, during the first weekend the game is released, I will be hosting a 24-hour stream and giving away access to the game over on Twitch. So make sure to hop over there for my story spoiler free stream. Thanks again for watching this video everybody, I'll catch you in the next one.